It's been 10 years since the murders of three people in a hate crime in Johnson County. Good evening, I'm Jackson Kurtz. The attack sparked a movement to overcome hate and bring change to the world. KMB Science's Peyton Headley has that message from the Seven Days Community Kindness Festival. On the 10th anniversary of an act fueled by hate, it's love that's bringing the community together in Overland Park. Yeah. Music set the tone for the first Seven Days Community Kindness Festival. It's amazing what people are doing here, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. Lucas Lowson is among the dozens in attendance. But if everyone was just a little nicer, I feel like the world would be a lot better. He's hopeful. Sunday's activities, speakers, and overall message will encourage others to be kind. And I just want to be here for, for, the, for the good of the cause. That cause is very close to his heart. It's sad. It's, it's very hard, especially with everything going on in the world right now, uh, as of this weekend. Ten years ago, Lowson lost his brother, Reed Underwood, and his grandfather, Dr. William Corporon, to a hate crime and a shooting outside of the Jewish Community Center. Terry Lamano was also shot and killed at Village Shalom in Johnson County. It's a sad time, but it's, it's, we have some great people around us that make it a lot better. It was those attacks that sparked this movement. The world is a horrible place. It's, it'll beat you. It's like what Rocky says. It'll beat you to your knees and it'll keep you there unless you get back up. So I don't think it's that bad of an idea to want to put a little piece of it back together. And that's what we're doing here. We're putting a little piece of the world back together. He's hopeful. The dozens at the Kindness Fest today will carry that tune of kindness into the community. In Overland Park, Peyton Headley, KNBC 9 News. And the shootings were carried out by a white supremacist who has since died in prison.